Joining me right now on the phone is the Laura Ingram, the New York Times bestselling author of The Obama Diary. She's going to be in town Thursday, July 29th at the Four Seasons, downtown St. Louis. Uh, general admission tickets are just $20. Laura, thanks for joining me. Hey, great to be here, Dana. How you doing? I'm doing good. So this book is, this is a really good idea for a book. What gave you the idea to do this? Well, it's, uh, I think it's time that we drop this idea that the Obamas are so historic. <laughs> that they uh, they can't be ridiculed and mm. satire and, and satire cannot be used against them. So um, basically, the whole book is 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 it's really two books in one. It's an it's a narrative of what's happened over the last year, what we need to do to prevent the permanent collapse of the United States. And enveloped inside of all of this are these diaries that I just found. I don't know why I got these things. They just landed on my you know roof of my car. I have oh, no yeah. idea why. But that's that's you know, they, they just garage. arrived on my SUV hood in a Manila envelope. I started mm -hmm. looking through them and. Lo and behold, the truth seemed to be seeping out of them faster than I could even keep track of. Now, you get into the marketing of Obama's radical agenda, which the, the thing that truly fascinates me about this administration was the marketing. Yeah, it was all marketing, now, wasn't it? And, and I call it the razzle-dazzle. You know, this is a great song from Chicago. Give them the old razzle-dazzle. I mean, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's the garden. It's Bo the dog. It's, it's uh, the daughter's parent-teacher conferences. You, you'd, you'd never think that any other president had ever had a dog, had the, a first lady had had a garden, or that they ever went to dinner together. Because every time the Obamas do something, it's like front page news. They went for ice cream. Right They're just Michelle, like us. Of course, told us dessert is not a right. So. Oh, yeah, exactly. I thought that was funny. They go for ice cream, but yet, you know, that anti-obesity initiative. And you get into that. You get into the oh, gardening yeah. and, and all of that. Fit to serve. There's a whole chapter, Fit to Serve. And do you know, Dana, that Barack Obama is himself in his diaries revealing how sick he is of Michelle's berating him every time he has a hamburger, con considering he was able to secure from Sam Cass, the White House chef, <laughs> a whole list of what she ate on a daily basis. And let me tell you something. This is no uh, lean cuisine, all right? There are racks of ribs involved. There, are, I mean, she can put it away. This is according to the diary. I, I'm not I'm trying oh, yeah. to vouch for the veracity of it. This is according to what the president of the United States wrote in these diaries. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Very informative. You, it, it gets into the diaries. The president writes about the brand, the Obama brand, and how this brand, the family, was all of this, all of this was used as part of this razzle-dazzle marketing to really obscure the true agenda of this administration. Yeah, which is to transform the country, take over uh, major industries, uh, take over, obviously, health care. And now we understand, look for millions of new voters through uh, immigration amnesty. And and I think what we were supposed to believe is that they were so cool and they were so hip, you know, they hung out with Shakira and Jay-Z, that, that these guys, you, know, you couldn't really question them because, after all, they, these, this is the Obamas. They kind of mm. float above us all. You know, they're international celebrities. So, you know, to, to some thinking, I think the, the celebrity culture that we live in uh, was going to really propel them and propel them into sort of stratospheric heights of, of popularity. And, in fact, the opposite has happened, right? You know, the country mm -hmm. realizes that we can't keep going down this road that we're on. It doesn't matter if, you know, Bo the dog is cute and the girls are wonderful and they have a nice swing set. I mean, we don't, <laughs> we don't really care about those things, okay? We care about the fact that we have no jobs. China yeah. seems to be surpassing us at, at every t turn we, uh, we take. And the general elite way of thinking is that the United States is in a period of decline. We, we don't want to be in a period of decline. We're America. We want to be number one. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. That's who we are. Now, this the whole Camelot stick that they use, being the second Camelot, oh, yeah. do you think that he's actually going to be able, according to the, what's written in his diary, do you think that he's actually going to be able to use this as a shtick during 2012? Well, I think, again, it, it, the proof is going to be in the pudding. It, it's not going to be about the razzle-dazzle. We now, with the, with the help of these diaries, the help of this book, we now see through the razzle-dazzle. We, th we see through the facade, and we see what the marketing of brand Obama has, has done and what it's meant. What we now are looking for are economic results. We're mm -hmm. looking for a, a sense that the tide has turned, that the country is actually on the ascendancy again instead of in a, in a long, steady period of decline. And right now, with housing starts down, foreclosures up, confidence down, and public cynicism on the rise, it certainly doesn't seem like there's, there's anything they do is going to turn this around. In fact, they seem to be doubling down yeah. on unpopular policies and ideas. And, and I'm really happy to report, Dane, on your show, the first, first time I'm talking about it, 
other than on my show, is that uh, the book hit number one on the New York Times list. So it That's debuted at number one. Fantastic. We just found out. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. We're well, really congratulations happy. on this. Now, if you go to, if everybody goes to lauraingram.com, uh, you can go to the Obama Diaries, and you actually have video of where you discovered this. Yeah. Vanilla. And, Very. And, and people think it's really scary and spooky, and I must second that emotion. It is spooky to look at that parking garage when I. <laughs> stumbled down and found these diaries yeah. and put in my car. I mean, it, I, I don't even know how it was filmed. It, the whole thing's a mystery to me, but I don't think small children should watch that video. It's, it, it's the Google quite, cameras that they yeah, have it's, everywhere. It's, it's a little creepy, so yeah. I'm not sure but that's really suitable for children. But suffice it to say, the the the, the theme of this book is uh, Obama arrogance, incompetence, uh, scheming, and uh, ignorance all wrapped into one with a uh, with a satiric edge and, and I think a, a resounding finish with a chapter called Happy Warriors about how we need to move forward as we uh, try to beat this all back and, and not be sour or dour or or down or pessimistic. You know, we have to be we have to be happy. You know, we've been through much worse. We'll get through this together. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's there's sunshine after our second car. Well, let's talk about St. Louis. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm coming. I know. I'm excited. I'm Thursday, July 29th, you're going to be at the Four Seasons. Now, Jamie yeah. and all Jamie Allman and I are going to be hosting. Very excited to meet you in person. I can't wait to meet you, Dana. I've heard so much about you and I know you've done you've done great work and you're you're a real patriot and you're also you also have a sunny and and upbeat disposition which is what we need. We don't need more ranters on the air. We need people who have facts and in substance and a conversational style. And, and you really put the, put all that together. And, and as a, as one of uh, the few women in this business, I'm, I'm thrilled that you're on the air and you're doing so well. And I, I love everyone at 97.1. Jeff Allen and everyone does such a great job for us. And I'm just thrilled. So we're going to be at the Four Seasons. And uh, I, this is my challenge to St. Louis. You guys have to get a bigger crowd than came to see me in Houston. I think we had about 1,000 people at the uh, Harley-Davidson dealership Monday night in Houston on a Monday night in boiling Houston. So you guys have a challenge. I'm laying down a challenge to St. Louis. We want to see you all out there. Oh, we're going to, they're going to come out because we're, I mean, St. Louis, we're tired of the stuff that we've been dealing with here just at the local level and the national level. And it's a nightmare. We need some truth, but we need it to be fun. No, so we, we, you can do we, that. We need to be able to uh, laugh together. Yes. We, we can't be these. The, the, these conservatives who are just, oh, is a, the, I want a handbasket. <laughs> Whoa, is me. Everything rotten. All the politicians are terrible. You know something? Yeah, everyone's not terrible. We're going to be fine. We'll get, we'll, we'll soldier on. And, and by the time we get through this, the, the Obamas are going to seem like a, you know, a temporary a blip of national insanity, you know, are, are having voted for them and, and kept them in office for four years. Uh, things, things are going to pick up and, I'm very, I'm, I'm very pumped. I'm, I'm positive and excited about the huge crowds that are turning out all over the country. Mm -hmm. We have a 20-city book tour, and we're in the right in the middle of it right now. And I just, I'm more energized than I've ever been. I, I truly am. Well, this is a, this is a, this is just a great book. It's a great read, and it's a very interesting take, and it's a very funny take too. Mother Robinson has something to say, and you know something, Dana. She didn't mention you by name, but you need to carefully read what Michelle Obama and Barack Obama said about conservative talk radio, because uh -oh. that's in the demonizing the enemy chapter. Mm -hmm. And you can read between the lines, but they're talking about you. Uh, maybe it's you. No, no, they're talking about you, girlfriend. So uh -oh. you better read. Uh oh. Well, Laura, we look so much forward to seeing you in St. Louis, July 29th, uh, Four Seasons, downtown St. Louis. Tickets are almost gone, folks, so make sure you go and get them. Laura, thanks so much for joining me this uh, afternoon. Take care, Dana. I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks so much. All right, you too. Take care. Bye.